Hello, corporate community. Welcome to a meeting about AI releases by the blog post mode. We have here some beautiful, valuable contribution from our members from Closed AI, Microsoft, and Meta. Now, we know that AI is not just our golden goose, it is a boundless treasury catapulting our financial success to stratospheric heights. So let us start today with Meta. Yeah, 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 thank you, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, our open architecture models are open invitations to an open dialogue with the future, the gateway to an open society that flourishes in the open air of transparent research. We at Meta, we embrace the open system, the open structures, and we are the key to the open knowledge, where it is encoded in the open heart of the open data sets. Now, the open secrets whispered in all of open technology is open for interpretation. We all know that openness is the key to the open treasury of unlimited corporate wealth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Thank you to our first speaker. But unfortunately, I have to tell you that some scientists, some scientists, they, they, they dare, they have the audacity to evaluate the openness of our corporate large language model. Boo! Yes, I do. Look here, I have to tell you that there is a small little university in the Netherlands. I think it must be in Europe. Where else could it be that they dare to evaluate here our corporate licensed here <coughs> AI system? So let's have a look what they have done. Now, it, it is breathtaking. Look, look, they, they, they say that the importance of publishing scientific and technical details, they, they want details about our models here. And they say that the process of scientific scrutiny via a peer review system is seen as a crucial component of openness. I mean, here you see those are scientists. They don't know nothing about business. Né? And they want that we include information about our training process, of our closed, of our open system. I mean, unbelievable. Né? They say even information about the model architecture, the algorithms used. I mean, yes, come on, I can go naked here to the marketplace. They say about the availability of the training data, that some models have the pre-training data available, but the data from the reinforcement learning step, our most valued secret, they want that, that, that our crucial information for this instruction following behavior of our model, that, that we should provide this for free for non-paying customers. Can you imagine this? And they say, make this data openly available would increase the model's openness. I mean, they have no idea what a commercial open closed system is. A better understanding of the results. This, 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 this would be the end of our AI systems. And now, please hold on to your chairs because they dare, they dare, those Europeans, about legal, legal clarity. They say that there are issues surrounding the legal clarity of the data that we, that we uh, capture, I mean, we, we borrowed from the internet and our models. Né? And they dare to argue that the openness should also extend to legal permissions. Can you imagine that? We should go to every single person on this planet that published something on the internet and we should ask, we should ask with legal permission. Uh, let me not get into this in detail. And then they, they, then they come with transparencies again. And they say about, about corporate practices. I mean, they want to do my job or what? And I should be transparent about my intention. Listen, we are not here a charity organization. We are here a for-profit global corporate corporation. So what do you think? I mean, these scientists have no idea how they dare. Ah! No. Boo! Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I have to tell you, this is their result. I mean, we would expect that everything is green. No, we, we are an open society with our open models. And look what they have done. They colored it in red and orange. It is disgusting here to have this scientific, detailed research evaluated by scientists. I mean, what they think they are. I mean, look at this in detail. They have here about the availability of the code. Then they want to have the data. They want to have our, our personal weights 
from the reinforcement learning, also they want the data. They want their weights. They want our little babies. Never, ever. Not over my dead body, I can tell you. They want to have a documentation for free, an open source model. We donate to the world. This is our present. And they ask for a documentation about the code, the architecture, the preprint. They want to have a model card. I mean, what else? A data sheet, access to a package and an API. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as a chairman of our corporate meeting here, here in Silicon Valley, I have to tell you, I am shocked. No, no, do not look at this chart. Because we know that Llama 2 is the most open model that we in the open AI system, in our open source universe, we have here as an open technology. And look what those scientists here in this little European university, they dared, they dared to, to, to not only to, to make it orange, to make it red here. Look, and yes, our beloved member here from the closed AI community. It is a disaster if somebody would see this scientific publication and this scientific evaluation. But luckily, we have a marketing business and we have here an unlimited financial resource pot sitting here. So let us forget here this publication. And I would like to invite our second speaker from Microsoft here about this successful new corporate release by blog post mode in an unscientific just by hey there's a blog post hello look at this and it saves us a million in marketing yeah it's so great so please welcome microsoft yeah yippee yippee yeah ladies and gentlemen thank you now the open secret is that those critics those let's call them scientists they fail to grasp that we are not merely open, we are the very embodiment of openness. Our models are an open declaration of our open faith in the open source community that we are such an essential part of. And they are the open answers to the open mysteries of our artificial intelligence systems. So here we stand with naked breasts here in the open court of the technological progress under the open sky of open innovation. And they can try to dull us our open shine, but we, we will remain an open beacon in the open night, an open challenge to the status quo, as open as the horizon, as open as the future itself. We are Microsoft. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and after this, I have to tell you that even here, some uh, minor university, it's called, I think, uh, Stanford University. I don't know if you've heard here, he dare to evaluate our, our AI model here with the compliance to the draft European AI Act. And, uh, and it, 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 it is, I'm, I, I, I'm, 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 I do not have the word here, dear corporate uh, members here of our illustrious circle. Look at this. E even this uh, insignificant university here in the US, I mean, how they dare to publish this. I mean, I, we have made so beautiful donations to this insignificant university. And look at this. And they even have the audacity to, to have here one of our Meta members here. And, and, and they dare to give not the 100 percentage performance point here. So indicating there, there might be some, some tiny little, I mean, insignificant compliance problem here with the legal AI European acts coming up in the future. But ladies and gentlemen, we are here in the United States of America, the unlimited, and we make it and we break it and we, we will get billions of dollars in profit. So thank you to participate in our meeting. And I think we have an open sky of open source innovation in front of our closed AI models. Thank you, and I see you in our next corporate meeting.